first full week into lane closures that are having a significant impact on thousands of people. Despite some frustrations, the State Department of Transportation says they're keeping a close eye on things. Crews are monitoring traffic from the air and ground and seeing where they can make adjustments to help ease up the congestion. WECT's Ava Bringor joins us now live near the Isabel Holmes Bridge, the main area of traffic concerns. Ava, the Department of Transportation says they've made some changes to help clear up some delays. Yeah, Fran, the NCDOT says one of the main changes that have helped is signal timing, so keeping those lights green for longer. They also say drivers have been doing their part, so leaving their homes for work earlier in the morning and also finding a route that works best for them. Now, since Monday, NCDOT says there have been less wait times and traffic congestion on the road, specifically leading on to the Isabel Holmes Bridge. They say, of course, you should still expect congestion, but every day those wait times are getting shorter. NCDOT confirmed today there was a fender bender near the Isabel Holmes Bridge that shut down a lane for a short time. They say crews responded quickly to that accident to keep traffic moving. Just so you know, there are crews stationed on both sides of the bridge, so if another accident does happen, they're prepared. Overall, they're happy with the progress made this week and they hope it continues. Uh, you know, I travel into the area as well and we're all a part of this. So I'm, I'm grateful that the drivers are making a positive response, making positive adjustments and, you know, it's, it's better for everyone. Now, viewers have asked us why the eastbound lane closures will take longer than the westbound, and that all has to do with the initial setup, which took about a week. And Fran NCDOT is expecting a shipment to be delivered next week, which should help ramp up the project. All right, you answered quite a few questions. Thanks so much, Ava. Meanwhile, we have heard from many.